The, now we're gonna take the Promoto MX and we're gonna install a set of aluminum hubs here. When you buy the hubs, they come in a set with a rear hub and a front hub. We have six colors available, silver, gold, orange, green, blue, and red. So obviously these match the three stock bikes and then these are three tuning options. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really partial to the gold and that's what we're gonna be installing on the bike today. All right, so we got our gold hubs here. We're gonna go ahead and install them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the front and rear tire off. We'll swap out the hubs and then we'll put both the tires back on at the same time. So I'm just gonna take my 2.5 driver here and we'll just run the front axle out and we'll go ahead and just pull this axle out the side, off to the side. And then what I do is I take the front tire here and I just kind of pull it forward to get the uh, brake disc out of the pads. And then you kind of can rotate this out of the way and pull that guy off. And then when you come to the rear, you have the rear axle bolt right here. Uh, it's also an M2.5 thread. And then on the other side, you have an M4 nut, uh, which uses a seven millimeter nut driver. So I'll just take my nut driver and I'll put it on the nut and then I'll put my 2.5 driver on the axle and just take that nut off and then I'll push the axle out, pull it out. And then all you do is kind of just roll the tire forward a little bit, roll the hub forward to loosen the chain and you just pull the chain loose off the top and then you pull the tire out, no problem. So we'll set the bike off to the side there. We'll do the front tire first. So we have six screws on this side that hold on the brake disc rotor and then six screws on this side. We're just gonna take all 12 screws out. So that's the last of the 12 screws. Use my thumb and just kind of press the hub assembly out of the middle. I'm actually gonna leave those screws in the wheel. I'll just make it easier to reinstall them later. I'm gonna take my 1.5 driver. I'm just gonna push it in here in between the bearings and then kind of angle it down towards the side. So I'm gonna catch the lip of the bearing on one side, pop that out and knock the aluminum spacer out and then I'll pop the other side out. So now we got our bearings, plastic hub coming off the bike. So we'll set it off to the side. So we have our aluminum hub here. The bearings and the spacer, I'm gonna install at the end cause they can kind of fall in, fall out, et cetera, while we're assembling it. But I'm gonna install the hub into the wheel first. So just kind of line this guy up and push it in. And what I do is I always try and locate the screw holes and make sure that they're all lined up before I press it in. Cause after you press the hub in, it's harder to kind of rotate it around. So I'll go ahead and press that guy in and it's lined up pretty good. It's just a smidge off. So I'm just gonna take my 1.5 driver here and I'll just kind of twist it and that'll kind of rotate it a little bit, but you do want to be pretty close. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run these six screws in And we do want to do a cross tightening pattern. So we go one and then we go across and we go across. And then these screws, even though it's steel into aluminum, I don't find that you need thread lock because you are clamping down on the plastic that's in between them. So that kind of acts as your resistance to keep the screws tight. Um, you can add some thread lock, but I, again, I don't think it's necessary. And then we go to the other side and on this side, the screws are actually going to go through the hub and thread into the plastic wheel. So you definitely don't need thread lock on this side. The uh, brake rotor here, this is the correct orientation. Tires going to spin this way. So you want the uh, shallow flats or, or angles here to be going this way. You can put the brake rotor on this way and it'll work just fine. Just doesn't quite look right. So we'll go this way. We'll run a screw in here. All right, same thing here. We're gonna cross tighten. So one thing you wanna make sure is that you get the barrel, this larger barrel of the screw to go into the hole and not get hung up uh, next to the hole on the brake rotor. All right, so we'll go ahead and save the bearings and the spacer for later. We'll install those right before we put it on the bike. Rear wheel, same thing. Six around here on the sprocket. 
and six on the other side. So we'll just go ahead and remove all 12 of these screws. All right, so we have all the screws removed. We have the hub and the wheel here. Sometimes the fit's a little bit tight. Uh, so I just go ahead and just kind of tap it out a little bit and then you can go ahead and pull the hub out. Same thing here. I'm gonna, this is actually a little different the way that you get the, the hub out. You can actually see this black part is part of the hub. So I just put my driver in and just press on that and I'll pop the bearing and the axle out the other side. And then you can take a longer driver and kind of pop the bearing out of the other side. So we'll set those off to the side like we did with the front. Ditch our plastic hub, grab our aluminum gold hub here. And same thing as before, we're gonna kind of run the hub through the wheel and we wanna kind of check our alignment, try and get all the screws aligned as good as possible. And then just kind of press, press the hub into the wheel. Everything looks like it's lined up really well. It doesn't really matter what side you start on, but I tend to start here on the brake disc side. And same thing here, we're gonna cross tighten these screws. You're also threading these screws, steel into aluminum. You could use some thread lock, but like before, we're going through two plastic parts now. So we're definitely gonna have some resistance on those plastic parts that should help hold the screws in place. And thread lock can be used, but shouldn't be necessary. So I just kinda hand tighten these screws. One thing is if these screws, so this is a plastic faux brake rotor. If you crank these down, you can chip the plating uh, on the brake rotor. So you wanna get them tight, but you don't need to go uh, super hero on them. And then on this side, we'll just line that up. And again, you're actually, these screws are going through the hub and threading into the wheel. And again, cross pattern. And I will kind of check these by hand again. So now we have our front hub assembly and wheel, our rear hub assembly and wheel. We're gonna grab the bike back and we're gonna go ahead and install them. I'm gonna start in the front. And so what we'll do here is we'll go ahead and grab this front wheel assembly. I'm gonna put the spacer in. I just kind of got my finger under the bottom hole here. Put the bearing in the top. And then flip it over and I have my thumb on the on the bearing put the bearing in the other side and then we'll hold it level and everything should stay in place so here the trick is to get the brake disc to fit between the brake pads what I'll do is I'll pull the tire back and I'll actually hold the rotor up kind of above the brake pads and then I'll take a tool and I'll kind of separate out the brake pads and then try to drop the rotor kind of into the gap between them See, it always takes a try or two. Or three or four. All right, so we'll put that brake rotor right above and we'll try and drop it in. All right, there we go. So we got the rotor in between the pads there. So we'll take the front axle and we'll pop it through this side and it'll go through the hub, through the wheel, and then kind of key in on this. And what I'll do is I'll just get my 2.5 driver and kind of run it, run it through and get it threading in. Make sure everything's aligned and I'll run the power driver through. And now nice and tight there. And again, this clamping screw here, we don't want to really crank down on that. We leave it pretty loose so that it can basically self align the forks so that everything stays nice and free in the fork travel. And that's our front hub all on there. So now we'll do the rear. This one, basically I pull the chain up so that the chain sits on the bottom chain guide here and then kind of over to the side so it sits on top of the arm. And then I'll take the hub here and drop that in. Same way, I got my finger on the back, put the bearing over on this side, flip it over with my finger under the bearing, put the bearing on this side. And then I'll basically roll it in here in between the swing arm and I'm actually gonna go past where it aligns up. So I basically make the chain tension loose and then I'll bring the chain here along the bottom 
over the top and then I'm going to pull the tire back, tighten the chain and go ahead and run the axle through both sides. And then put the nut, M4 nut on the other side here. And then I'll go ahead and hold it down with a seven millimeter nut driver, grab my 2.5 hex and tighten it down. And this guy you can't really over tighten. So you don't need to go crazy tight, but you can't really over tighten it. So no worries there. And now you have your rear hub installed. So we installed the front hub, the rear hub, I went with gold. I think it looks great, especially with the yellow bike. I think it's actually going to look really good with uh, red plastics too. Uh, but we do have the six colors, so you can pick which one works best for you.